Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. When we, exactly one year ago, revealed that the MBITE concept here on this very stage, uh, I must say that has been a truly exciting journey for the design team. And but what, I, what I can also tell you is uh, we, of course, uh, revealed, uh, left alone this car, uh, many of the images of this interior. What you see here is the concept car. And I can tell you, over the last year, uh, talking with some of you, media, uh, friends, colleagues, no one would really believe uh, that we would bring uh, what you see here as reality. No one would believe we would be able to bring such of a large screen and the components or the user interface that, that Carsten just described. But what I can tell you, or confirm again today, over the picture that you just said, uh, saw, we just did it. And uh, there's a small more thing that demonstrates that, uh, it takes just a second, uh, that really demonstrates that uh, this interior is no longer uh, uh, reality. I need to see now the next uh, morphing, yeah, that's exactly what happens. And look at that. This is the production interior. This is really what we're going to bring uh, at the end of the year in the street. And this is, I must say, uh, probably as a designer, I can speak also for my team, this is probably the first time ever. Typically, a show car will promise a lot, uh, and you will eventually uh, find back in the production car some very small details, maybe some hints, but never the big picture. And this is truly unique. That's also the mission that I gave to the design team, to simply do the production car better than the show car, make it more futuristic, make it, of course, safer, make it also ergonomically better. This is the task that we uh, simply took. It's a big challenge. But we believe that we were able, actually, to make a step further in terms of design refinement against this concept car. And this is truly new. And this is, in a way, like, uh, really like this vision of what is a smart uh, device on wheels. Uh, this really uh, reflects uh, this in a very uh, cohesive manner. And if we look into detail, uh, zooming to the, the SCD, uh, this is uh, exactly the very same screen as this show car. This is exactly the 48 inch wide screen uh, down to the last pixel. This is the same component and actually the component that we had in this short car was already the target component. That was also what makes us like very different against some other company where we really uh, use the short car to develop and implement what we really believe in. And then uh, this screen is of course meant to deliver the digital content uh, as you Carsten already described. Of course the traditional uh, content as like navigation, multimedia or vehicle information, but it was also uh, designed to <coughs> integrate uh, some future use case. Huh? Uh, for example, uh, the car is designed for a relatively long life cycle, as always, but digital products have much shorter life cycle. And uh, this makes us like very future proof in such a way we will be able to update at a very regular uh, time this vehicle. So it's not designed for the next, next seven years, but instead uh, designed on a day to day uh, basis. And the screen is exactly made for that. Another uh, detail uh, if we zoom now to the steering wheel assembly, uh, which is also something that no one did believe that we would really bring that into reality. And what you see here is again the very same concept the driver tablet uh, right under the finger. This will give you access to control, of course, the main functions of the car, the basic functions. Uh, we just added to it uh, a couple of other functions. You see either side uh, some uh, art keys, uh, which we thought also were necessary for quick access uh, to main functions. Uh, you can also see uh, behind the steering wheel some stalks, uh, because we simply believe like uh, some conventional or bulletproof solution are also meaningful for a good user interface. Good user, in, uh, user interface doesn't have to reinvent everything. Uh, it has to rely also on proof and safe solution. And this is the case of these two uh, stores activating respectively, like blinker and uh, uh, the wipers. And uh, below the touch uh, pad, uh, you of course see uh, also the nearby, yeah? because now this is the production car. It had to go slightly bigger, of course. Huh? This is a full-size volume airbag, and uh, this is what we were able to integrate, uh, I must say, in this masterpiece of engineering. Then, uh, moving to the center line, uh, we have like another device uh, that Carsten just described. Uh, this is, let's say, the, the driver, uh, excuse me, uh, the central uh, touchpad. This is essentially 
uh, aim at the passenger. The driver, of, of course, can use it, but he has already his own little tablet. Uh, this is more for the passenger. And although like, you will be able to interact with this vehicle uh, by voice or gesture control, uh, you have to also rely sometimes physically, interacting uh, physically with the, the vehicle and controlling the different functions uh, over the touchpad. And then uh, when we move up, uh, we see another unit uh, which is quite interesting. Uh, that looks a little bit like a spaceship, actually, that's the way we described it within the design team, and that integrates, again, another set of functions. Uh, you will, of course, need the air vents at the right position, at the right height. Uh, comfort is also paramount uh, when it comes to uh, the driving experience. And you see below uh, that we integrated uh, the PLD uh, buttons, it's very simple, it's not far away from the steering wheel. It's, again, the perfect ergonomic position uh, within reach and uh, relatively intuitive, relatively simple, just some button to uh, press. You don't have to open a, on a manual to understand how intuitive this car is working. And uh, you may probably wonder uh, what is sitting on top of this whole unit. Uh, there's this like sort of design element. Uh, it is actually a safety device uh, in the form of like a camera system, which will monitor uh, you as a driver, whether you are attention or not, in the case of L3, uh, autonomous driving because we will uh, of course offer this car with that level of autonomous, uh, autonomy and uh, now we clearly see how we reflect also your design strategy uh, which we call new semantic. Uh, I already shown you uh, back then uh, how uh, the new technologies such as autonomous driving and digitalization will influence uh, car design and this is a very concrete way uh, that we demonstrate today. And all in all, uh, if we zoom back uh, to the, the overall picture, uh, we of course wanted to do also an interior uh, as a premium brand or we, that reflects a premium brand. So it will be crafted also with the nicest material. We will of course uh, bring some innovative material, but also traditional craftsmanship such as leather. And this offered of course in a variety of colors and finishes. Uh, what you see today is only one of the variants but we will be able to offer many more. And on top, uh, we will of course, you know, like all this whole interior is designed uh, to really comply with all uh, of the hardest safety uh, requirements worldwide. This car is really designed for the whole uh, world safety requirements. It integrates, of course, airbags and all these sort of things. And again, to stretch that, this is no longer a show car, this is no longer a show business. This is what we will now deliver. But uh, now, uh, to conclude shortly, uh, it would be now more important to know what can you really do uh, with this vehicle because what you see is of course, uh, I believe, interesting. But I think even more interesting is what is exactly the experience that you will be able to achieve or have uh, within this car.